So we are in the fourth chapter, I think. Use more paper, they'll plant more trees to make more paper. Mm -mm. Don't think that's how it works. Can we see the running part? No. No running part. Hello? My goodness, the door open. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. I wonder if Mr. Midnight is really a traitor. Oh, friend, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Ithursta? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Wait, let me hide my thing. Because if I don't, I can't see a portion of the screen. Which is very vital because it has like the answers I can give. Um, this one. Why does my ear hurt? Are this my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Someone trying to debate us. I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. It's a weird thing to wonder. Wait, why can't I move this way? Oh. There's a, the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. Moonlight shine, it's very romantic. This is very odd. When we fell into the third side, there was no water. Pills, don't move on. You want to show me the way back home? Home. I guess home is this direction. Mmm. That looks very suspicious. Mmm, delicious berries. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Coin. Uh, uh, how unexpected. Am I, like, too bright again? What's wrong with my webcam? What's wrong with my webcam? I feel like I'm too bright again. There we go. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend, bad friend. Uh, what should I do now, Kitty? We're trapped forever. Well, good thing we have a handy, handy knife. Oh. See, the knife is good sometimes. Oh no, it's the guy. Fran, you're already here? Well, I wasn't inspecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Edward, your faithful friend. Edward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creation of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sister mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You are able to imagine me because I already existed. 
Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I am your friend. Hmm, alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Oh, no. Yes, I am recording. Hmm. I do not trust that guy. Even a little bit. Behold, the It Were Flying Machine. What do you think? I love it. It has so many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower and gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. <laughs> you don't like that emo caboose? But I added it just for you. <laughs> Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing on the endless limits of the second reality. We are <laughs> Why is that emo? It's so funny. <laughs> I love it. I hadn't seen it like, like that. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here is an amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I ask you? Can I just ask? Why do you need the berries in the water? Oh well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt, the kamalas. Oh, kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see here. Got the pills back. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the tribe caught me first. Oh yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the tribe like it, like in one second. Anyways, I'll go get the fire berries and the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Coin. Wow, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Hmm, delicious berries. Wait, I didn't see this side. Well, that's it's back to this. Oh, goody. Ew, I look completely deformed. Is that, is that what's troubling you? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. Mm. Girl. Oh, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like in a magical world of hair. Wow, so much hair is so shiny. I feel like in a magical world. Okay, that's... Okay. Okay. Get out, get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no matters, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose, I'm a deedle worm. A deadly worm? No, no, no. Not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. 
I don't go around killing creatures. I just get back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh. Oh. I do not like you. Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, what did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers will touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on out. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. Why would you do that? They are on fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give it a hug? No, thank you. It says hell. Hello? Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We actually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Uh, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I had to go now. Bye. Is this where I get the water? Oh. Hmm. Where do I get the water from? Is there any way I can get down there? Hmm, <sighs> looks about the same. What happens if I cut the hair? Oh, no cutting the hair. Look at it, word made it empty. It's empty. I thought maybe I could get some hair, but... But I can't get some hair.
Or at least I don't know how to get the hair. What is this? Hmm... I do not know. Probably missing something stupidly obvious. It's so blurry and hurts my eyes. Hmm. No, I didn't want to talk to it. How was your day horrible? <laughs> I'm in like a really bad mood. I need help, please. Will you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Oh. Well, that's what I wanted to do, but I just take the knife for some reason. Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill out the whole bucket, please. I always go the aggressive way. Let the, let's cut her hair off way. Mm. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, oh, thank you, shiny insect. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry. I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye! Okay. Can I just climb this again? I didn't get the bucket back? What? Damn it. Okay, now we use this here, and then... Knife? See, the knife works sometimes. I got the berries. Sarah, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. 
Sir, it were just a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been in the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Ah, oh, friend, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. I'm scared. <laughs>